This is AutoLine Daily reporting on the global automotive industry. As we mentioned in yesterday's show, passenger car sales continue to plummet in the U.S. So now Toyota is scrapping plans to build Corollas at a new plant it's building in Alabama. Instead, it will make a new, yet-to-be-announced SUV at the facility, which is scheduled to open in 2021. Toyota will continue building the Corolla at its plant in Mississippi, and Corolla sales are down nearly 5% in the first half of the year. Volkswagen is doing the same thing. It just built the last Beetle at its plant in Pueblo, Mexico yesterday. Now it's going to build a new compact crossover called the Tarek beginning in 2020. It's a modified version of a model it sells in China called the Thru. Sales of diesel engines continue to climb in the U.S. market, but only in pickup trucks and commercial vans. Automakers sold over 280,000 vehicles with diesel engines in the first half of the year, up 7% from a year ago, while the overall market was down 2%. Ram does the best job of selling diesels, despite an embarrassing recall involving accusations of cheating on emission regulations. About one in four Rams sold has a diesel engine. Ford actually sells more diesels in its F-Series, but has a lower take rate than Ram. The Silverado has the lowest take rate, while GMC is second to only Ram. And these diesel engines are extremely profitable for automakers. They charge anywhere from $6,000 to over $9,000 for them. And hey, be sure to tune into AutoLine After Hours this afternoon. Our special guest is Paul Eichenberg, a strategist on electrification, autonomy, connectivity, and mobility. So join John, Gary, and Joe White from Reuters for some of the best insights as to where this auto industry is headed. That's 3 p.m. Eastern Time on AutoLine.tv. Bentley gave itself a pretty sweet 100th birthday present, a wild-looking all-electric car that is its vision of a future Grand Tourer. Despite only having two doors, the EXP 100 GT is a massive 19 feet long and nearly 8 feet wide. That allowed designers to give the car some very interesting proportions. The front overhang is nearly non-existent, while the rear has a long sloping tail. The front end is sure to be polarizing for some, but light that flows across the grille, through the flying bee hood ornament, down the hood, and onto the cabin as you approach the car will sure draw your eye away from the design. Bentley believes future battery technology will offer five times the conventional energy density and says a car like this could have a 435 mile range and be recharged to 80% in 15 minutes. It also features four electric motors with a combined 1,110 pound-feet of torque, which rockets the car to 100 kilometers an hour in under two and a half seconds. And while the EXP 100 GT may seem like a far-off concept, you may remember Bentley showed the EXP 10 Speed 6 concept in 2015 that later became the styling inspiration for the all-new Continental GT in 2018. So we wouldn't be surprised to see cues from the EXP 100 GT make it on upcoming Bentleys. But the only thing we don't like about this concept is the name EXP. Anyone remember the Ford EXP that was made in the 1980s? You don't remember? That's good, because it was kind of a forgettable car. Now here's some good news. Sales of the NSX are up 62% so far this year. Here's the bad news. Acura only sold 151 of them. That means there's plenty of extra manufacturing capacity at Honda's Performance Manufacturing Center in Ohio, where the hybrid supercar is made. So the automaker decided to make versions of the MDX and TLX using the same hand-built process and quality control checks as the NSX. A body in white is first pulled off the manufacturing line at the main plant and sent to the NSX plant. 
Then, technicians install the interior, drivetrain, suspension, wire harnesses, and electronics. The TLX PMC edition will be the first to launch and combines options from the A-Spec and Advance packages, which normally can't be done. It also features an NSX exclusive red paint color. Only 360 of the TLX will be made and will cost just under $51,000. And that's not too bad, considering a fully loaded TLX already approaches the $50,000 threshold. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by DuPont, transforming industries and improving lives through material science. Yesterday we showed you these photos of an old car that an Auto Line viewer saw while walking around the city of Riga in Latvia. In fact, we got a response from Edgars Kronbergs who said, quote, Hey, I'm from Riga. And I've seen that very car. Can't wait to find out what it is. So we asked you, and a number of you got it right. Steve W., Merker Driver, DBCRN859, and DLWATIB all correctly identified this as a Buick, specifically a 1940 Buick Special. The giveaway was the badge on the trunk. Even though there are pieces missing from it, there's enough there that we could match it up with the Buick badges from that time. You know, car sharing is a convenient way to rent a car for a short period of time, but it's also apparently a good way to steal a car, or in this case, dozens of cars. Back in April, thieves stole about 75 Mercedes CLA and GLAs from Daimler's car to go car sharing service in Chicago. According to Bloomberg, when employees tried to retrieve the vehicles, the thieves claimed them as their own. Car2Go eventually had to suspend services in Chicago and get help from the police to retrieve the vehicles. All were eventually recovered, but some had been stripped of doors, seats, and other parts. But mostly, the vehicles were used for joyrides, some of which were posted on social media. This just goes to show how vulnerable car sharing can be. Automakers are pulling their hair out, trying to get owners to replace the defective Takata airbags in their cars. They sent them letters and postcards and emails, made phone calls, and even went knocking on doors. But 15 million cars still need fixing, even though the fix is free. So a company called Karma is working with Toyota and using social media to get people to fix their car. Even you can do it. You download Karma's app, and you post messages on social media with a special link about the recall. If someone uses your link and gets their Takata airbag replaced, you get 55 bucks. You can post as often as you want to try and make as much money as you want, and you can find the app at karmaproject.com. That brings us to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, go out and get your free Slurpee today.